How's it going guys? Welcome to STL News. Today is Thursday, April 2nd. Today we're going to talk about a lot of comic book movies, a lot of TV movies, and one comic book. I know, only one. I'm sad too. Let's start it out with movie news. Movie news! So Stephen Amell, you know, Green Arrow, Arrow, he's going to be Casey Jones, the Googler, inside a new TMT movie, the second one. He's gonna be Casey Jones. I'm excited to see this, see what kind of range he can bring to this character because Casey Jones is a bit of an asshole. I know Oliver Queen is an asshole also, but they're assholes in two different completely ways. I'm excited to see how Stephen Amell can portray this character because the only credits I really know him from is Blue Mountain State, you know, and he wasn't really in that show for that long. So yeah, I'm excited to see this. Next up in TV news, we have Andy Serkis in Age of Ultron, apparently. So Andy Serkis is going to be in Age of Ultron. He's going to be playing Ulysses Claw. I'm excited to see this because he's also going to be playing the Claw and also the Black Panther movie. So having Andy Serkis in this movie, there's was going to be a cameo, but still to see what they do with it before Black Panther. I'm stoked, freaking stoked. This Avengers movie cannot come soon enough for me. Even though I'm not happy with Marvel is doing with their comic books right now, their movies are on fire. Completely on fire. And lastly, in movie news, Adi Wale, you guys may know him as uh, Mr. Echo if you watch The Laws, but he's going to be playing Killer Croc. Killer freaking Croc in the new Suicide Squad movie. That is something I'm pumped for. How are they going to pull this off? I hope they don't use CG. I really hope they don't use CG. Use some good old fashioned costume and makeup, man. That's what I like to see for a Killer Croc. I hope they pull that off well. I hope it doesn't blow up in everyone's faces. They got a pretty big budget, a lot of high price actors and stars in it, so hopefully they don't they don't screw themselves over by going too big and make the movie crap. That's my one big fear of this movie right now. They're doing all this stuff with this movie, but it won't have enough to make it look awesome. It'll look like garbage, and I don't want that to happen. Next up, TV news. TV news! Sierra Renee. Don't really know her name, but she's gonna be playing Hot Girl in a new spinoff of Flash and Arrow. So Flash and Arrow getting another spinoff TV show on the CW. I'm thinking it's gonna be a Justice Society TV show, because they got Firestorm, they have the Atom, they got this new hot girl character. They got some characters coming from Arrow, who's gonna be in the show, but you don't know who she's gonna be. So, I'm thinking JSA, Justice Society of America. That's what I'm thinking this show's gonna be. What do you guys think? But yeah, man, hot girl. That's awesome too. I hope it doesn't look cheesy like it did in Smallville, because that would be crap. Cause that Hawkman costume was horrible. Absolutely horrible. Next up, video game news. Video game news! So, they have a new Arkham Knight game coming out. We talked about that before. They also have a bundle pack with a new PS4 console. This thing is gonna be all silver. So with the controller, it's gonna come with an Arkham Knight game, but it's gonna have a little stencil of Batman on it. So you got a little Batman stencil at the very top. Silver with Batman on it. I don't think those are his colors, but whatever. It looks pretty cool. I wouldn't want it for myself. It's 450 bucks. So if you wanna pay 50 bucks more for a PS4, go right ahead and grab one. But eh, mm -hmm. it looks cool, but I, I wouldn't get it. You may say otherwise, but I wouldn't get it. And lastly, comic news. Comic news. So, I know we talked about last week that the Inhumans are going to be the new X-Men, pretty much. It looks like that's still happening. They got the Uncanny Inhumans coming out, and Cyclops is supposedly in it. So, they're keeping mutants, but turning them into Inhumans, or the Inhumans and the mutants are working together. I don't know. All this is taking place, I believe, after the Secret War, so... What do you guys think is going on in Marvel? What the hell are they doing there? Because I cannot wrap my head around I kind of see what happens in Secret War before I can make a decision about whatever the hell Marvel is doing. Because that's going to 
I got paved the way for everything. Once they do the Secret War, everything else will make sense after that, I believe. Hopefully. And lastly, our one favorite time of the day, Artist of the Day. Today's artist is Pros Pass. I know it's an odd name, but work is pretty cool. He does a lot of fancy stuff, a lot of dwarves and elves and mystical time stuff. It's kind of like a, if that time had a steampunk is what I see it as, but I like it, I dig it, it looks really damn cool to me. I definitely say check him out, see if you like some of his work also, and until next time, you guys take it easy. I'm kind of indifferent about this, Tom Willing kind of pisses me off. I didn't like Smallville for that long, I'm like eh, the first five seasons were good, not really good, they were terrible. The last five seasons were good, but still, it was kind of all over the place and they kind of forgot some characters and you're just like, uh, go do your own thing, we're not going to talk to you anymore. Eh.